Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to create automatic Google Docs and PDFs from a spreadsheet using SheetGo. If you need to generate personalized documents from a spreadsheet automatically, SheetGo can help you. You can start from Google Sheets, Excel, or CSV files and generate personalized documents in different formats, such as Google Docs and PDF. Here we'll take a look at a very interesting use case. We'll use this payroll spreadsheet to generate salary slips for all the employees. So, without further ado, let's get started. First we'll need to create a spreadsheet, which will be our source file, and a template in Google Docs. Let's start with the spreadsheet. I have created columns for all the data I need to fill out the pay slips. Now let's move on to the template. In order to create a template, you have to know what a smart tag is. A smart tag is a placeholder that you're going to add to your template. When you generate the documents, SheetGo will replace these placeholders with data from your source spreadsheet. When I create the template, I'll add smart tags for all these columns. SheetGo will create a salary slip for each row in Google Sheets and replace the smart tags in the template with data from the spreadsheet. Now let's take a look at our template in Google Docs. I've created this template and added all these smart tags that will be replaced when SheetGo generates the documents. Notice that the placeholders will be enclosed in double curly brackets. These are my smart tags. SheetGo will add the employee name, the position, the department, the base salary, and so on. Now that we have the spreadsheet and the Google Docs template, let's create the workflow to generate the documents automatically. Now head over to the web app to start creating the workflow. Click New Workflow and then click Create Connection. Give the workflow a name at the top of the screen. Here I'll call it Salary Slips. First select your data source. Click Sheet Files and then select File. Select the file in the File tab containing your data. Then click Next Step. You can select a data processor if you want to filter the data or split it into multiple spreadsheets. I'll skip it because I don't need to filter or split the data. I just need to create the documents from the spreadsheet. Now select a destination. Here I want to generate documents. You can also generate PDFs or emails. You can click the link in the description if you want to learn how to create personalized email automatically. I'll select documents and now I have to choose the template. After choosing the template, I'll select the document name. I'll call my document salary slips and I'll add a smart tag with the employee name to the file name. Here I'll let SheetGo create a new destination folder. I'll also call it salary slips. The checkbox is checked here. The default option is to add a column to identify which documents have already been created. Whenever I run the workflow, it will generate documents only for the new entries. Last but not least I'll press finish and save to create the workflow. As you can see, SheetGo has automatically created all these salary slips using data from my spreadsheet. If you want to send these documents via Gmail automatically, click the link in the description to find out how you can create a mail merge with SheetGo. You can click Run whenever you want to run the workflow and generate new documents. I'll click Automate because I want to schedule automatic transfers. You can transfer your data based on a schedule, on a form submission or on a workflow run. I'll select Based on a Schedule. Now select how often you want to transfer your data, multiple times a day, daily or monthly. Then click Save to schedule the automatic transfers. There you have it. SheetGo has created personalized documents using data from my spreadsheet. That's how you can create automatic Google Docs and PDFs using SheetGo. Check out our other videos, subscribe to our channel or visit SheetGo.com for more spreadsheet-based automation ideas. Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video.